Uh, a total of 14.4 million Kenyans have registered to join the Social Health Authority uh, program under uh, the Social Health Insurance Fund. Out of this, today alone, I've just confirmed from uh, the CEO of SHIF that 104,000 Kenyans have registered today. And allow me, Honorable Speaker, to plead with us as uh, members of Parliament and as the people's representatives to be at the forefront in encouraging, promoting the registration of members of the public into the Social Health Insurance Fund. It might be politically expedient and very politically correct to speak to the gallery of how things are not working, but as we speak to Kenyans on how things are not working, let us remember that Kenyans have charged us with the responsibility to make sure that things do work for them. Therefore, doesn't help me. Remember St. Peter's health facility there that mushroomed into a big health institution largely from money stolen from NHIF. You remember the other small dispensaries you saw in the Rakanivi, in Meru, in Nakuru, and people are hemorrhaging resources from NHIF, Honorable Speaker. It is these hemorrhage resources from NHIF today, Honorable Speaker, that largely are fueling the propaganda you see being peddled against the Social Health Insurance Fund, Honorable Speaker. Today, Honorable Speaker, out of the 14.4 million Kenyans who have registered, 710,000 have done the mean testing score. And out of these people, Honorable Speaker, when you register, Honorable Speaker, and these are the things. we need to be telling to members of the public. The moment you register today are telling us that the mean, the, the, the mean uh, premium that Kenyans who have done the uh, mean testing score of these 710,000 is 525 shillings. Because it is politically expedient and politically correct, Honorable Speaker, for me as a business person who is well-meaning, who is doing well, to do the mean testing score, and the, I'm told the premiums you should pay from your level of income, and also people to know that it is based on how you answer the questions that are on that mean testing score. If you own a car that you are paying insurance of 200,000 shillings, for heaven's sake, if you can insure <laughs> an automobile, you can also insure your own body, your own health. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, you find people who are quoting very huge figures. But because of the answers they gave as they did the mean testing score. Fact, Honorable Speaker, and these are statistics that you can examine and see and authenticate from the SHA website, Honorable Speaker. The mean premium out of the 710,000 people who have registered is 525. Out of the service providers, Honorable Speaker, 7,802 hospitals have signed up for this program. Honorable Speaker, there are a further 8,118 healthcare providers who have successfully registered to offer services. And out of this, Honorable Speaker, 7,965 7, have offered services and a shift to Kenyans. Therefore, for us to see stand here, Honorable Speaker, in this house and elsewhere, in funerals and everywhere, to say, oh, it is not working. We are lying to Kenyans, Honorable Speaker. We should be telling Kenyans the truth. 
we should be educating Kenyans. And I know we may have failed in our communication strategy. We may have failed in how well we communicate and uh, educate our people. But Honorable Speaker, let us use this opportunity on this floor this evening to educate our people and let them know. Honorable Speaker, it is not fair that my constituents, who some are uh, uh, people who are unemployed, were paying an average of 500 shillings at a time with my huge salary, Honorable Speaker, besides my business income, Honorable Speaker, and that salary is paid for by the same constituents that I was paying 1,700 shillings a month. And now because I'm being asked to pay 27,000 or 20,000 shillings a month, I start complaining and cry more than bereaved. But I'm not being honest with Kenyans. To tell Kenyans, I am crying more than the bereaved because I am more bereaved because I am paying 20 times more than what I was paying from money that is paid to me by Kenyans. That is the kind of honesty, Honorable Speaker, I want to beg that we exercise as we debate, Honorable Speaker, as we educate. Let us be at the forefront of offering civic education to our people. Because, Honorable Speaker, you have seen cases of uh, cancer patients. You've seen renal care patients, those who are undergoing dialysis, and yet I had paid for All men HIF. If you are unemployed, the moment you sign up, automatically you can access a level one, a level two, a level three hospital without payment. The capitation that is going to the hospitals, the facility improvement fund. You know, I was so embarrassed, Honorable Speaker, over the weekend when I had a member of parliament portend in Kikuyu that this chief or shifo and saying it is not this shifo. Shifo is a, is a, is a, is a uh, name for a chief. A member of parliament saying that they do not know the difference between chief and shifo. Yet, you are seated in this house, you legislated right from the first reading to the third reading to the committee of the whole house, you are here shouting, I, as the speaker said, the eyes have it. Then you go to your village to tell Kenyans that you do not know the difference between Shif and Shifu. That you do not know the difference between Shah and Shif. Honorable speaker, I am saying I was so embarrassed because I would expect a leader elected by the people, the people believing that that leader knows more than them to be using that opportunity, Honorable Speaker, to educate their people, to tell them that if you have need to access renal care and dialysis at your dispensary or at your local level 4 hospital, all you need to do if you are unemployed is to do the mean testing score. You are advised how much premium you should pay when you pay on a bus speaker, and I know these are the cries that Kenyans have, have raised, that the mean testing score is asking you to pay for the annual premiums for the whole year. That was the case under NHIF. You could not access renal care, cancer treatment, without paying your annual premiums on a bus speaker. And Kenyans were paying. Today on a bus speaker, because SHA or the Social Health Authority is yet to activate the insurance premium financing, they have now opened it up to Kenyans to be able to pay every month. Let us educate our people that you now can pay monthly, monthly premiums, access your dialysis, access your cancer treatment. Let Kenyans know that today under SHIF or under the Social Health Insurance Fund, they can access dialysis, they can access chemotherapy, radiotherapy, free of charge if they are registered with this uh, authority, if they have paid their premiums, doesn't matter whether it's annual premiums, if you have access to uh, insurance premium financing to pay your annual premiums, pay. If you cannot, discuss with them and pay your monthly premiums. Access those services. Honorable Speaker, my last point. Our county governments and our county governors, and I really want to plead with our county governor. A minute only. In a minute, Honorable Speaker, if our CEC's healthcare in our counties can take up the challenge because other than the Kenyan public who are the major beneficiaries of this shift, Honorable Speaker, 
is our county governments. The facility improvement fund that we legislated in this house, I know many politicians will not tell Kenyans that truth, that that facility improvement facility empowers your local dispensary to have a committee that will even procure equipment and medicine at that local level. It is the number of people who are registered in that locality and who are registered to that facility that will enable the facility in your locality to access the facility improvement fund that will ensure that a hospital in Gatune in Kikuyu, the far flung corner of my constituency, the most remote part of my constituency, if they have a dispensary honorable speaker, they will be able to access the facility improvement uh, fund, be able to equip their dispensary, have medicine available at the dispensary, have money to hire doctors, and we legislated, we made it possible. Thank you, Majority Leader. The Minority Leader will take precedence over you, Honorable Andrew Kwame. The Minority Leader will take precedence over you. The minority